Hi folks, thanks for watching Outdoors with Ed. Today is the maiden voyage for the uh, Pelican Catch Power 100. And I am looking forward to seeing all of the things that this kayak can do. All right, we're in the water. I'm gonna give you my honest, honest, as honest as can be, uh, opinions about this, all right? I love the power of the trolling motor. Obviously, who wouldn't, right? I'm 53 years old, and I'm gonna tell you that it's still a little bit of a chore to take out of the truck by yourself if you don't have a trailer, and I do not have a trailer, so, um, I'm gonna give it. Uh, I'm gonna give it a C on that. Okay. Uh, now, okay. If you don't have a battery, if you don't have a trolling motor, I give it an A for for that category alone. If you have a battery, have a trolling motor and gear, yeah, it's gonna take two people, and it, it's just gonna take two people if you've got all that stuff. If you want to load all that stuff in it after you get it in the water, that's an option. But a C for that part of it. Now, I'm traveling, this is a windy day too, by the way, and uh, it is cutting through the wind and the water like nobody's business, so I love that part. Now, I am on fifth speed, and I'm happy with that. I'm not, I'm not disappointed in that. It's going fast enough. Brand new battery, so I hope it was charged well. I did, I did bring a paddle in case. Now, as far as the stability of it, it's acceptable. All I'm gonna say about the stability factor is, is, um, you know, you just can't be goofing off in it. That's all. Uh, but under normal conditions, now all of the stability tests that you've probably seen, at least the ones that I've seen, it shows the guys doing crazy things like trying to uh, move it side to side and stuff like that. Yeah, it's gonna move. But the stability test I'm looking for is, is am I going to be able to fish and pull in a fish without, without falling in? So, all right, more when we start fishing here. Now, and I am standing, and it is fairly windy today. And I can ju I'll just say this. You need to have good balance, and the wind is going to move this uh, kayak so I already have a rudder on order to put on the uh, shaft of my trolling motor that I think will help The wind is taking me right down this uh, bank just like I want to, so I'm not going to complain too much right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit down. I just don't feel like wrestling with it right now. I suppose on a day that was not as windy that it would be pretty stable to stand up like right now the wind has seemed to die down just a little bit but when the wind is is rough I don't think there's any anything fun about standing up in this kayak for any boat for that matter
it's a windy day. I didn't really expect to catch anything much. I expected to catch one, but anyway, uh, my main purpose for coming out today was to bring the catch power 100 on the maiden voyage and to do a little water test on it. And, and I love it. I do overall. Uh, I'm just going to say that um, <clears throat> I will give it a C on the loading and unloading aspect of it if it is packed with all the gear. I honestly can't see myself doing a ton of modifications on this kayak, even though I'm like anybody else. If, if I could, I would do every single modification that was possible. There's some really cool things out there in, in, uh, by way of modifications that you guys have done to both uh, Bass Raider and uh, other Pelican kayaks. Man, I'm envious. But I am um, a less is more kind of guy, and um, I really like to pack light. There are a few key things that I think that are necessary. For example, I put a, uh, a rope on the front of the kayak uh, today, just simply a tie-off rope, if you will. I used a 550 cord or a parachute cord, uh, but we call it 550 cord in the Army. But I, uh, I've got a lot of that, so I took uh, about... 15 feet of uh, 550 cord and uh, I put a snap link on it and tied it to the to the kayak that way when I go ahead and put it in the water I can tie it off to something while I'm parking the truck um, other than that there's going to be some mounts that I'm going to add that I want to add I really would like to figure out how you guys are are taking the head off of your trolling motors and, and putting it up front and then you're fabricating some sort of a steering system with cables that is really cool um, so maybe maybe I can find a video or somebody can share a link in the in the, in the comments uh, for a good modification video on how to make that steering system uh, without having to turn around but the Catch 100 uh, does have that 360 swivel seat, so it shouldn't be a too bad of a situation already. Speaking of modifications, uh, there is a few that um, that I know I'm going to be making. I've already got a rudder ordered. It's a, it's a fin that goes on the shaft of the trolling motor that is going to assist uh, uh, with sway. So, like when it's windy, it will. It will keep your kayak in place just a, just a little bit better, I think. <laughs> 